Welcome to Wrath Microtech. We have been manufacturing emergency phones for over 35 years. With over 350,000 phones in the field, we are the largest emergency phone manufacturer in North America. All of our products are proudly made in the U.S. Thank you for purchasing one of the Wrath command centers. We'll walk you through the steps required to install one of these units. Step 1. Remove the base unit from the shipping box. If a flush mount unit, mount the back box in the wall. If a surface mount unit, mount the back box to the wall. If it is a desk mount, place it on the appropriate desk. Step 2. Remove the distribution module and power supply with UPS from their shipping boxes and mount them in a central location. The base unit and all phones will wire back to this device. Step 3. Next, wire the communication line from the RAF 2100 or 2400 series phones back to the distribution module. Make sure phone 1 wires back to the first extension on card 1, phone 2 wires back to the second extension, and so on. We only require a single pair per phone. We recommend 22 or 24 gauge wire, twisted and shielded, to reduce the risk of any RF interference. Step 4. If utilizing the 2100 series phones, you will also need to run a pair for power. We recommend 18 gauge. You can daisy chain up to 5 phones per power run to our model 2500 PWR24. Step 5. Now wire the base station back to the distribution module. A 12 to 16 zone requires a single pair, a 28 to 76 zone requires two pair, and the 112 zone requires three pair. Step 6. If you have purchased a RAS Submaster, you would mount and wire it back to the distribution module at this time. Follow the wiring instructions in the Refuge Command Manual for the type of Submaster you have purchased. Step 7. Plug the distribution module power cord into the RAF power supply with battery backup and turn it on. Now you can program the base station with the communication handset at the main station. You will program the time zone date and time, both for the main base station and a submaster if you have purchased one. Step 9. We will now program the phones following the onboard programming instructions for either the 2100 or 2400 series phone and the phone programming information in the Refuge Command Manual. They can be programmed to call either the base station, the base station and then an outside number, or just an outside number. The 2100 series can call up to five emergency phone numbers, including the base station, and the 2400 series can call up to two emergency numbers, including the base station. Elevator emergency. Step 10. If the system is being used as an internal intercom, you are ready to test the system. If it needs to call outside the building, you will need to hook up the outside line or lines. The standard refuge command has locations for two exterior phone lines. This connection requires a two-wire connection to the line and must utilize an RJ11 jack to plug into card 1 on the distribution module. Step 11. Now we will show you how to test the system. Either place a call from a phone to the base station and answer at the base station. Place a call to the outside world and join that conversation from the base station. Test one, two, three. Place a call from the base station to a phone. Or place a call to the last phone that called out.
Thank you for considering Wrath Microtech. If we can assist in any way, please give us a call at 800-451-1460.